Hey YouTubers, Undertron 9000 here back with another video. Today, I'm going to be counting down some really good Sega games that I happen to have on my Sega Genesis that for some reason came with 50 games. Now, I'm sure that you know about Sonic the Hedgehog if you're watching this video, right? Well, maybe you don't because it says non-Sonic games. Well, anyways, you would know about Sonic if you can read and clicked on this video. Yeah, Sonic is sort of the pride and joy of Sega. Even though they haven't treat him, treated him so well in recent years, we all know that uh, Sonic is loved across countries. You, you see, Mario's just not in style anymore. But today, I'm counting down six Sega games that are not Sonic, that are overlooked and ignored. And I recommend these games to really anybody who likes Sega. Big shocker, right? Sega makes games that aren't Sonic. Well, these are six games that deserve more attention. And yes, I'm sorry that I'm not freaking recording on my freaking iPad. Because one, I haven't gotten used to the to the no pods thing, and two, I can't link my account because the internet sucks on my iPad. So I'm gonna can you uh, continue, um, freaking recording on my freaking tablet, frick, frick, lit, frick tablet. All right, for number six we have Restar. I haven't actually played too much of this game, but from what I've seen, it's pretty good. The reason it's so low on the list is because I don't really enjoy it as much as the others. So, yeah. But, uh, you may know of him because he was originally going to be Sega's mascot. Then Sonic came and stole the show. Thank God. But seriously, if you have one of those Sega Genesis Sega Gen that come with 50 games built in, you should be able to find this. Because, whoa, look at that, it's here. Alright, moving on to number five, we have Fish Story. You have never heard of this, have you? Fish Story is a pretty simple, yet fun game. You start out as a tiny fish, but as you, as you eat smaller fish, you eventually grow bigger and bigger to the point where you can eat the biggest fish on the screen. It may seem like one of the, those games sold for a cheap buck at first, but if you play it, I think you'd really like it. Watch out from the uh, watch out for the shark though. The shark does not get eaten. The shark eats you. Oh, did I mention that if you get caught by bigger fish, you die too? Yeah, that happens. All right, coming for number four, we have Kid Chameleon. Kid Chameleon is, like, Sega's Mario. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, but Sonic Sega's Mario. That's wrong. Sonic has different gameplay mechanics than Mario, even though they are very similar. Kid Chameleon takes all the physics from Mario and turns it into an awesome 16-bit Sega game. But instead of grabbing mushrooms and all that, you grab armor that lets you do other things different tricks. It follows the same sort of concept as Mario. You have to save some people, jump on some bad guys. There's even a freaking run button. Anyways, I'd recommend this to anybody who likes Mario, because it's just like Mario. Alright, moving on to number three, we have Flicky. You may have no you may know about this too, because Flickies are actually animals that you that you free in Sonic the Hedgehog when you jump on a robot or on one of those egg prison yeah whatever they are called but this game is all about Flicky um freaking like saving his or her friends sorry <clears throat> the chirps you also have to run away from a cat called Tiger and did I mention that this game is so freaking cute I mean, just listen to the frickin' title music. What? Just look it up. Flicky, t uh, flicky title music. God. This game is sort of like Sonic 3D Blast if it was Sonic 2D Blast. Which we already have with Sonic Blast. Illuminati confirmed. 
But yeah, yeah, this game is pretty fun. It's it plays pretty much just like Sonic 3D Blast. You should play it. All right, coming in for number two, we have Comics Zone with an X instead of C S, cause that's cool. Comics Zone is sort of like if Street Fighter was a platformer. Or if it wasn't a two versus, if it wasn't a player versus player match, and it was actually like a solid video game that you can beat without like staying in the same place forever. Basically, um, a guy called Sketch Turner gets sucked into his own comic book, and he must get out and beat the bad guy that he actually created. You switch from panel to panel, fight bad guys. It's like a comic book video game, if the comic, if the video game stayed like a comic book. Comic book sounds all weird now. Comic book. Comic book. And the best thing is that you have Roadkill the Rat all beside you, all beside you all through the way. Yeah. Roadkill the rat. Alright, coming in for number one. This is the game that came to mind when I thought of this list. Probably because I was playing it at the time. The number one spot for the best non-Sonic Sega game goes to Shinobi 3. Yay! Woohoo! Although I haven't played any of the other Shinobi games because I only have Shinobi 3 on my Sega Genesis, I came with 50 built-in games! Although I don't have any of the other games, Shinobi 3 is a great experience. Have you ever played Super C on the NES? Well, again, this is like that if it was on the Sega Genesis. The only difference is that you actually have a chance Seriously, if you've played Super C, you would know that you get three lives, and you die in one hit. It's pretty frustrating. But Shinobi 3 takes all that and fixes it. In Shinobi, I think that you're a ninja person, and you go along and fight bad guys. Shoot an enemy, it bleeds for a little bit, and then it explodes, because ninjas do that. This game requires a good eye and good reflexes. Because even in the first level, enemies are jumping out of trees with camouflage. And then almost right away, they shoot at you. But if you can get them before they jump out of the tree, you're good. Because then they die. You're so overpowered. You have an entire health bar and they die in one hit. How do you like that, Super C? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you get the chance, play some of these games. I recommend Shinobi 3 because it is awesome. Anyways, if you like this video, please leave a like or subscribe. This is Undertron 9000 signing out.